Hello everyone, and this is Serenities here, back with another awesome gameplay for you guys today. This time moving away from Star Wars, and uh, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> back with some serious gameplays, guys. Um, got a really nice one here on Neutral Bomb, actually playing quite a well-known name, um, Crouched. Uh, community favourite, as many of you will know. <laughs> well, not really. Uh, but he says that he loves all his fans, so I've got to believe the guy. And he's playing with uh, Skytrax, uh, Friction Just, and uh, Redox, who was host this game, because uh, the tab is over his name when you go in theatre, so that's how I know who was host. Um, and obviously I was running my God Squad. Um, now the H2A, this uh, from H2A ranked is 4s. I was playing one of my God Squads, uh, Nox, or... One of probably my one of my favourite God Squads, if not my favourite, but um, Nox, Espubi, and uh, Pichu Frenzy, and myself Serenis. So it was a really strong forward to take these guys on. Just hope you guys enjoy this. And I was really excited to bring this one out because it's Shrine gameplay and uh, it's Neutral Bomb, which I feel is uh, one of our teams. Uh, you know, not because we play it bad, but because it's one of our weaker game types. So I was really happy to beat Sweats on this. So here we go, guys. Um, so at the start of neutral bomb you always want to make sure you secure the ring control particularly important in this game type to also um, Secure their heart as well and push through there I find with a lot of people that play H2A ranks when they play bomb they tend to go into a bit of a um, Stat in mode and they tend to forget that they're not playing um, You know we're not actually playing Slayer we're playing objective So a lot of people do that in neutral bomb and I personally think that's why a lot of people don't play it well um, because Yes, you are meant to be slaying the other team, but you're meant to be slaying them in the intention of getting a bomb arm. And uh, I think a lot of players have a lot of difficulty with uh, keep, you know, sort of keep remembering that. So I hope you guys enjoy my point of view here as we're going to um, go against Crouch and his team to um, get this uh, bomb arm in. So it was a really nice sniper to start from uh, me in this gameplay. Because we weren't playing with Sunny, and um, Sunny wasn't with us on these night of games. Because um, on this night of games, we also had a best of three with uh, Wasp Almighty and his team of three. And I've got, um, we beat them twice on Shrine uh, Team Slayer, and I'll bring those games out for you as well. But um, on this night of games, Sunny wasn't with us, so I had to take over the sniping role and a little bit of the objective. So this was a kind of new role for me. There's a really nice shot on Crouch there, as you can see, I was hitting some good snipes uh, on this night, which was really quite important because we're playing really good people so um, you know um, it was quite important that I was able to hit those um, so right here just moving the bomb to their heart guys trying to get um, aggressive on them at the start because it's always good to put pressure on your opponents early on because it makes them panic a bit and uh, <clears throat> you know at this point I was just waiting for my team to get to me in the snipe hut at this point I know there's two guys behind me so I'm just trying to delay things as much as possible so that's why I bring the bomb this way and try and just keep the, you know, keep the bomb on their side for as long as I can. Unfortunately, Crouch has got a shotgun there. He's going to take me out. Um, it's a bit unfortunate my team weren't able to get there in time. Really, like I think, I think if we had more numbers, we probably probably could have got a bomb arm um, quite early on. So that was a bit of a shame. Um, we're just going to miss out on that opportunity. Um, nice place to get the bomb to, all the way to their snipe part though. So. Immediately off spawn, guys. It's kind of like a, st a stage process when you're playing neutral bomb. Um, you know, if you um, end up not being able to arm the bomb, then the, the next thing you should do is uh, go for ring control. So that's why I was doing there off spawn. I was just making sure that um, <coughs> I got to the ring as fast as I could, and uh, you know, tried to secure that because I knew that would be uh, crouched and uh, his team's like next port of call. So that's why I immediately rushed the uh, ring after dying. So as you can see guys, being the bomb boy again, trying to bring it to their hut again. At this point I was bringing it hut because I had a bit of a clear run and I wasn't getting shot until then. But um, before that <coughs> I wasn't really getting shot so I thought I had a clear path or at least I had a good enough path to continue with that to try and get that arm. But unfortunately I couldn't so off the spawn, you know, spawning rocks, I just go for the bomb straight away. I know it's going to be spawning so... Um, you know, I wanted to get up high at this point because I didn't want to enter in from ring one. Um, getting a little bit of height as you approach from the ring is always a good idea. And uh, you know, have it, if you don't have ring control on this map, it's always a good idea to go ring three as well um, to, you know, like try and jump overhead. I mean, if you haven't got a clear passage into the ring, you should always look for <coughs> other ways that you can push in to try and get some control in there. So I'd always advise doing that. At this point, we take a few casualties and we lose a bit of ring control. So. Um, that's why I was looking up at there for a minute. It wasn't really a good idea to put the water down at this time because the bomb is so close to our base, but I was doing it more. I was looking up there because in terms of like protecting my teammates, it's sometimes a good idea to shoot the water down if you can um, to protect them. But because the bomb was so close, like, I couldn't do it anyway, but I wouldn't have done it in that instance. Um, 
So at this point, we're trying to get a play ball um, because we didn't really have numbers and uh, we just want to get the ball out of here, really. Uh, but Esbubi is going to encounter some uh, hostile activity right there, so I'm trying to help him out. Um, I know there's a few guys in snipe huts, so, so I was trying to get up here to um, protect Esbubi, really, and uh, try and keep this... Um, Esbubi did a great distraction in taking the bomb all the way out to um, their rock side because that's going to create a major distraction there, and I tried to help him out and keep that going. Um, Unfortunately, I wasn't aware I Crouch had rockets in Ring 2, so that's why I was uh, um, <coughs> like I couldn't make a push on that occasion because I, I didn't know that he had rockets in there and I was taken out very quickly. So off the spawn, grabbing Snipe, which is a nice idea. Um, I get Crouch really weak there and I would have pushed for the kill but someone started shooting me, so that's why I'm just staying alive at this point. You can, you can see that Redox and friends are also like trying to get around our side. They're trying to create a few problems where they can. At this point we get a few of them dead, so I think it's a good time to try and pick up the bomb. Um, Crouch was still weak there, and it's a real shame. He actually fires like a Marshadon rocket, which somehow connects at me. He was aiming at someone else, and it, it hit me in the distance. So that was really um, a great play from Crouch, actually. <laughs> not often you say that, but um, <laughs> nah. I'm not joining him with all that. But I mean, I mean Crouch is an okay player, but I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot of people say he's bad, but... Um, that was actually, um, on that occasion, that was a good play by him because it stopped my run, um, so I wasn't able to uh, actually get the bomb arm there, so we're going to have to start things again. So, trying to get the ring control back, guys, at this point, so that's why I was trying to put shots in where necessary, um, because, you know, getting the uh, ring control after a failed bomb arm is always a good idea. At this point, um, I couldn't really do much because I had guys from ring one and uh, their P Street shooting me, and I couldn't really move the bomb at this point. Um, I probably... I think my teammates needed to perhaps clear them out a little bit better in order for us to do anything with the bomb. Um, as you can see, I got taken out there, so it wasn't really a lot I could do. Um, we shouldn't have really, oh, I don't know, hesitated that long in the ring. We should have perhaps acted on that a bit quicker, I don't know, but it wasn't our best play there, so we're going to lose the bomb. Um, so immediately, I know we've lost it, I'm just going to push into the ring again. Managed to get crouched, um, absolute there, so... That's a nice play. Um, <clears throat> at this point, I'm weak as well, so I'm just waiting around the carbine area to jump into the ring. Um, so I, I know that we don't have, we're starting to get ring control back, but we didn't have it. Um, there's a guy on our side of the map as well. They, they were doing that a few times this game, actually, Crouched and his team. They were um, actually getting around to our side and creating a few distractions. So that was actually a bit annoying for us at times because, you know, getting some flanking shots as well as getting shot from the guy's face on. Um, that was a little bit um, annoying to deal with, and we had to be careful of that in that game. So, really nice nade on a friction just there. That was able to take him out quite nicely there. At this point, um, wanting to push snipe part again. Uh, but as you can see, most of the enemy team are there. Um, at this point, I was just trying to stay alive for as long as I could. Um, my teammates did a really nice job here actually to clear them out and at this point I know I've got a good run um, into their snipe part so that's exactly how I act on that straight away and I'll just stay here for a bit at the moment because I know Peachy's with me and Peachy's a solid player um, you know everyone played really well in this night of games I love playing with Nox, Esbubi and Peachy as well it is a god squad this team I'm not going to lie <laughs> definitely one of the best teams I've played in um, and here we go, uh, shooting down the water because Nox and everyone gets here and great support by my teammates here as we're going to go for this bomb arm. And I know that Nox is like, oh, it, dude, I've got this. As we just killed Crouch and Pichu also killed one of them. So as you can see, a lot of them are dead. I just said to Nox, take your time with that, you're going to get it. And that's a really nice arm from our team. That was S Booby that put that in. That was a great arm. That was really well played. A really great um, collaborative effort from our team was made there. I really like that play. Um, I personally think that's the best way to get the arms in neutral bomb is if everyone pulls their weight, gets to their flag side, you know, around the area and, uh, you know, slay them really well. And it's a guaranteed bomb arm, there's just no question about it. If you do those things correctly, uh, like we did there, it's just, it's guaranteed. And it was a really great play, so really well done to our team there. As you can see, really nice play by Crouch and his team actually to go right on the counter attack. It's a nice play by them, they, they were wise to do so because they had rockets as well. Um, so it's definitely a good time for them to actually attack us. But immediately when I saw them on turret, I just decided to put as many shots as I could into them so that stopping them from actually making any plays. So I was happy that I did that. At this point, coming off spawn, I just wanted to get ring control again, try to clear up the players from our side because of the uh, counter attack. So I managed to actually get a few nice kills and assists there. So um, <coughs> that's going to take all of, most of the... Uh, care of most of them off of our side. Um, bit of a strange push here. I... I don't know if I would have done that again, maybe I was trying to help our bomb carrier, but I think our bomb carrier is just 
taking it out of their way to cause a distraction. Um, probably shouldn't have acted on it as much as I did because we lost ring control. Um, probably wouldn't have been better to go in the ring actually rather than chase after the bomb guy. So I don't know. I mean, it's always good to help your teammates, but I think my um, the teammate was carrying the bomb at that time was just trying to create a distraction more than anything else. So um, yeah, I don't know if I would have done that again. Uh, nice kill on Crouch there as I'm trying to go for a play ball at this point. Uh, they're all rushing our base quite heavily, so that's why I decided to play ball it, really. I knew I was going to die, but it was necessary just to uh, get the pressure off of us a bit, because I knew my teammates would have to slay them, um, you know, off spawn, so that's that was the main idea, really. And at this point, um, Crouch, as you can see, is being a bit like X33X, playing the sneaky uh, objective role in the rocks, so it's important to take care of him. Um, I put some nice shots on him off spawn, and I think my teammate helped me out with the kill, so it was a nice play. Um, at this point, just keeping our eyes on the bomb. Um, Nox was the one who actually grabbed it, which is a nice play by him. <coughs> at this point, um, I think this is where Nox said perhaps I should just hold on to it and you guys slay them for a bit, or you know, like try and hold out for the 1 0 win, which I was happy to do. Um, I personally would have kept attacking though if it, were, if it were my decision because I think holding the bomb for two minutes flat, um, you know, in a, in a hidey spot is a good idea um, so the other teammates can just slay, but. Um, I don't know because your three versus four against four good, four decent players is not as advantageous as you might think. So it was a good play by Knox and it was a nice decision, but I think maybe it would have been better to just keep attacking them. Um, sometimes in uh, defensive tactics, the best um, offense is uh, you know the best defense. So. But I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I go along with it, but we're going to snipe on a Friction just there. It's a really nice uh, play under pressure. I think I had Crouch and uh, Friction around me at this point, so I was just trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Really nice to stay alive on their side as well for the reason that they have to clear me up before they can actually push the bomb. Um, at this point, um, after my death there is where I went onto black screen, so I was without my team for a time. They were on their own, so that was really annoying. Um, that was for about 20 seconds. Uh, I got black screen, so it was really weird. I don't know um, how that actually happened, but um, it was uh, Redox's host, so something weird with Redox's host caused me to black screen, so that was annoying. Um, luckily, it didn't uh, change anything, um, so the game was all still fair, and actually managing to come off my spawn again and help him out. So, as you can see, I come back a little time later, as there's only 40 seconds left. So at this point we just want to defend as much as we can. I, I called out to my teammates at this point that there's a guy with sniper and rockets on our flag, which is a really um, important, you know, had to make sure we killed him because he would be dangerous, um, you know, as they're trying to go for a cheeky bomb arm. So off, off my respawn there, I was just making sure that guy was dead. That's why I wasn't really looking towards the guy on car. So as you can see, sometimes playing the objective um, in bomb gets you a few extra deaths, but it's worth just taking them to make sure that your team gets the job done, so I don't really care about that. Um, you know, if I go neg in a, an objective game, but I, I did all the work necessary to win the game, it really doesn't bother me, so I'm not really that fussed. At this point, just putting a body shot, and we know we've won there because the time is just running out, and that was a really nice game. Um, it's really nice to play uh, Crouch and his team right here. Um, I was really happy as well to get another gameplay against um, some sweats on... Uh, um, a shrine neutral bomb because I feel this is one of our team's uh, weaker game types. I mean, we play it well, but um, I personally think we can improve on it. There's definitely a few things in this gameplay I saw we could probably improve. Uh, but guys, really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. This was Serenities and his God Squad, Nox, Esperby and Peachy Frenzy versus Crouched and Co. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.